Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is an example from one of our signals on our signal service for 20th of February 2018. I've chosen a long from the daily. Our members get both long and short signals every day for a fit, potential fifth wave trade on weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames. Uh, so for, for example, on the longs, they just click on the image here, download the spreadsheet. Uh, and they can open the spreadsheet and it gives them the weekly, daily and 60 minute potential fifth wave trades. I've chosen today to go for longs on the daily. Uh, this is just an example of the spreadsheet here. These are the ones for today setting up on the weekly time frame for a potential fifth wave trade long. So let's go to the chart and see which one I've chosen. Okay, so I've gone for low, L-O-W, on the daily time frame for a potential long. For our members already that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, I'm using the Ninja Trader version, but it also is available on Think or Swim, TradeStation, and Multicharts. So I just wanted to highlight where I've uh, started the wave count here. So I've isolated the bar count right down here on the 23rd of August. Uh, 2017 at these lows and as you can see then our automated system has put in the Elliott wave counts the wave 1, the wave 2, the wave 3, the wave 4. So let's go back to the, the signal itself. Uh, we filtered out some things um, to help us to give a starting point and get in uh, potential trades quite early. So down at the bottom here our 535 oscillator the signal scanner has filtered out for those that are between 19 and 140%. So the oscillator has pulled back on the wave four. The stochastic has pulled back and crossed over. And of course, the wave four has pulled back into our automated target zones there for the probability to go back and carry on in the direction of the main trend. So this wave four has pulled back into the amber zone here. If you find support here, there's an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zones here in blue. So around about $114 is the target for low for this potential long. Let's see how I've set this up. We do have uh, the 6-4 moving average low here in red and the 6-4 moving average high in green here. This is part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for all the different platforms and we use this for the green for example for long we use it for an entry. The red we would use it for a uh, entry for shorts and in this case we would probably use it as a train stop position as well. So the wave force pulled back, found support in our probability zones here and now it needs to start to move away. We're not interested in this trade until it starts and um, um, breaks above the 6-4 moving average high. So for Tuesday's bar position, this is $100.38. So we'd look to enter long on low $100.38 with a target of around about $114 into this target zone here. Our stop loss is just below the wave 4. So it's around about at $92.38. So as you can see, the risk to reward from the stop loss to the entry to our target zone is 1 to 1.6, 1.7, 1 1.8, something like that. So really great risk reward, getting these signals early, getting them set up. It's very, very simple. So this is the potential long on low for Tuesday the 20th of February. No markets on Monday um, because of President's Day, but this is ready for Tuesday. Have a great trading day, everybody.